What's going on guys and gals, it's Robbie here with BCNS Games, and I'm coming at you today with a saving Vanra guide, slash also finding the hag for Act 3 here in Baldur's Gate. And so, whenever you first get to the town, you're going to meet a lady named Laura. And Laura is going to let you know that her daughter Vanra went missing somewhere near the Blushing Mermaid, which is where we are. And if you speak to Captain Grizzly, who runs the place, she is going to tell you that Vanra was never a person and that she never even saw her here. And is going to let you know that Laura talking about it is bad for her business and offer you 3,000 gold to just go kill Laura instead. However, Vanra is indeed a very real person. And so the way to find her is you're first going to come down the stairs from Grizzly's room and go down this cellar door. Alright, so then once you are here in the cellar, you're going to want to jump up here by the tree that's kind of in this own little nook, and you will see kind of a weird looking wall similar to the ones from the hags earlier in the campaign. You'll climb down the ladder, come into this room right over here, and in this room, there's going to be all sorts of mask terrors just like from the hag previously. I've already taken care of them for the purpose of this video. And once you've killed them, you'll get a key to the next door. And then you can also hop up these mushrooms over here to get to a chest and this gnarly cauldron. And if you go just to the left of the gnarly cauldron, right here is going to be another worm for your lithid powers. And then once you get through this door, which will have a trap, I chose to just blow the door up. You'll then into this room and you'll see these weird mushrooms everywhere so there's going to be one on the east side of the room one on kind of the east northeast side and one on the west side so that for a total of three mushrooms and if you're like me you were just sitting here trying to figure out how do i get this hack where is she she's nowhere to be found in here the way that you get her to trigger is simply by killing one of these mushrooms. The best way to be able to do that to ensure that they don't heal since they will full heal on their turn is going to be to just put it into turn based mode, use your characters and destroy one of the mushrooms. And then once you are engaged in the fight, you'll need to destroy the other two mushrooms as well. And a good way to be able to try and take care of that is going to be using these arrows of Ilmater. And these will make it so that way for one turn, the mushrooms can't heal any hit points. And so once you're in combat with Auntie Ethel again, you'll know that she is pregnant, quote unquote, because she has eaten the child. And the way that you can save her is going to be by doing non-lethal damage to her. So... I'm also going to show you another thing that you can do just to kind of make the combat a little bit easier is with all of these illusions that she casts they're going to use spells that honestly hit really hard but a really easy way to mitigate it is going to be by using this psionic backlash which is an option in your lithid powers just use one of them at a time per illusion and it'll actually strike before the spell goes off so therefore you take no damage from the spell you can see, I just did it twice, and I've taken no damage. And so then, once you're ready to actually take down anti Ethel, you need to click down here at the bottom where it says passives. Toggle non-lethal attacks. And you can just kind of attack her normally. And once you have knocked her out, you will see that her stomach is bulging, and you'll have an option to cut Vayner out. And once Vayner's out, you'll just basically tell her that her mom sent her, or sent you. Alrighty, so once you have made your way over to Laura's house to turn in your quest, which an easy way to get there is going to be TPing to the lower city central wall, you'll notice that you've gained two new items. So the first is going to be the Amulet of the Wind Rider, which will unlock the abilities Ride the Winds, and Gustwin once per long and short rest as you can see 
and you'll also unlock a new legendary rapier is what you'll get so you can kind of see the stats of it right here and with that I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys like videos like this and want more of these in the future just let us know down in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe to the channel have a great rest of your day everybody